Hi everybody, it is Be Divine and welcome to Divine Miracles channel and I hope this is finding you happy and well wherever you are. And today I just wanted to do a little bit of a, vi a video uh, about soul cleansing and things that are happening to us of late and these are sort of symptoms of having this particular soul cleansing. So uh, what's happening is that we are reaching for our spirituality we are looking for signs from the divine and we are doing this every single day uh, we are working on our positivity we are attracted to videos on YouTube and trying to learn as much as we can we're going through different websites we're having dreams we're having visions and then sometimes we're having weeks where everything is out of control and we don't feel like we are being guided we don't feel like our angels are there or our spirit guides are there and one thing after the other is taking place and it just seems to keep on building momentum and a lot of people don't understand or don't realize that you know my life is not an easy one and you know perhaps you look at me and think oh you know everything seems so peaceful and seems so calm in her life just because of the way that I am but actually behind the scenes there are so many things going on that you just would not even imagine it and I often wonder to myself you know what am I doing like what's happening here you know I've come to the UK and I've changed my life and I've left everything behind and everything seems so up in the air and you know we're struggling in so many different ways and then I don't like to think that way because then you're thinking to yourself what you're thinking about you're starting to bring about into your life so then all the positive affirmations start and you just go through these cycles so you go through these cycles of having a really really bad time and getting really annoyed with it and getting upset about it and then you start to bring yourself back in and you're like okay I need to think positive I need to go for a walk I need to clear myself and we're going through this sort of a push pull phase in our life but what's happening is that we're actually having soul cleansing when everything feels like you are out of whack or you feel like everything's going wrong or you're getting aches and pains in your body or suddenly you're getting a headache or suddenly you're starting to feel um, you know, hot and cold all over your body or you, you're feeling a real need to have healing or you're feeling a real need to reach out to your angels and guides like more than usual this is the process of soul cleansing and what happens is that when we have those low moments and we get ourselves right down it leaves us a little bit open to receiving that help from the divine while we're always in this happy state and we're positive and all of that we're not really going to notice too much that the divine is working with us so it's only when we're in these really really lowly types of situations or we get ourselves at rock bottom that we notice when something changes, when we notice when a difference starts to happen in our life or there's a sudden sign from the above that we're there and we, you know, that's, that stirs us, uh, spurs us forward. So you may be going through a period at the moment of your life where everything is in turmoil and you may have been going through this for a very, very long time and you may be thinking, when is this ever going to end? And believe me, I know how that feels and it just feels like an ongoing drama in your life or an ongoing stress in your life and it wipes you out, you know, and it does and it has its way, you know, stress has a way of just affecting the body in the worst ways possible and we are completely wiped out and we haven't got time to be wiped out because we've got so many things to do. So it's really nice if you can just practice a little um, soul cleansing sort of technique and this is something that perhaps is forgotten or you know we we just don't think it can be that easy or you know where we're too tired to think um, but there's something that you can do before you go into bed or it's something that you can do before you get out of the bed and all I do is I say right I'm having a really tough time at the moment and I understand that there are experiences in all of that and I know that everything is going to change and you know I'm going to rise up out of this and there's going to be all kinds of reasons behind it but at the moment I need a rest and I need healing and I also need signs from the above that you guys are with me so this is how I talk to them you know and you can do it in the same sort of thing and then I imagine that there is this beautiful I'm standing in front of this beautiful crystal clear um, blue lake and there's nobody else around and I'm just 
in front of this crystal clear blue lake and as I go into the blue lake no one else is around no one can see what I'm doing and I'm stepping further and further down into the lake I'm feeling the, the, the cleansing and the healing start to happen and it's as I'm going further and further and further down I've, I'm totally submerged in the lake and I, I, know, I know to myself that when I come up from this everything's going to be different everything's going to be healed everything's going to be cleansed and it's a soul cleansing so I'm going down into the lake I get underneath the water I can I can see the light above you know at the top I can see the light all around me I can feel you know the um, the freshness of the coolness of the water and I come up and I walk up to the other side of the lake and that is just a quick sort of visualization that you can do to help you to feel like okay I'm all right now everything's going to be fine and cleanse this area of the soul and it's always your heart space the heart space is the seat or the middle of the soul area so we want to cleanse cleanse and clear that <clears throat> now sometimes after we've had this massive healing we actually feel worse than we did <laughs> to start with okay this is another sign that you know something major has taken place within you <clears throat> now see something's happening to my throat from just talking about this you know something's clearing in this area so sometimes when you feel worse it's because you're actually repairing a lot you know and you've had a lot of stagnant energy within you and you know if you think of a circuit of energy going around in a circle and this is this circle is within your body okay and the areas where you're stuck emotionally or you've got pain in your body are dotted around the circle just for imagination's sake so as this light is going around it's stopping and stopping and stopping and stopping and stopping and it's not able to quickly go around but when you have healing those areas are free and you've got this light going around in your body like this again and you, it's not used to it your body is not used to that you know it's not used to having the right light and the, the, the chakras working properly and the auric field healed and all of those things and you're right you're feeling sore within yourself so keep on doing the cleansing process and you know do this until you start feeling right again in yourself and then you'll start feeling energized um, you know you'll look in the mirror and you won't be going oh no <laughs> something's wrong I've got a new wrinkle or something like that you'll just be looking at yourself and you're thinking oh that's better you know I feel better within myself the soul cleansing technique is easy just dipping yourself into that lake just doing it as an intention visualization or a feeling however it is for you um, and just remember that you know the simple things in spirituality are always the best you know we don't have to go through chanting all day or anything like that we just have to focus an intention on something and if you can't do it during the day that's fine just doing it in the morning and in the evening not only washes and cleanses the soul but actually puts a protective layer of light around you as well and this is another thing making sure that you've got that bubble of protection around you morning and night so I hope that that's helpful to you the other thing is that um, you know when your light is shining bright you know when you're you know really really energized that sometimes means that other people are noticing that and coming towards you um, and even sometimes negative people can see that and try to squash it as well and this is why we need that beautiful protection around us so just remember keep everything simple in your life um, you know try to just think of and imagine a way in which that you can heal or just imagine a visualization it might be a forest it might be um, a lake like I use or it might be a big crystal that you step inside of which is amazing you know that can be a meditation in itself stepping inside a crystal and feeling what it's like there and coming out the other side cleansed and recharged it's as simple as that so don't worry too much if you've been not yourself lately don't worry if you've been all over the place and you know try not to feel like you're being punished if everything seems to be going wrong there will be reasons behind it 
as we change the way we're thinking about something we change our experiences and that is one of the biggest lessons in our spiritual growth don't forget that you are loved unconditionally you are surrounded by love unconditional love all the time so embrace that and allow yourself to receive it and feel the difference that this makes in your life don't be too hard on yourself uh, in your spiritual journey and just do your best to try that little soul cleansing technique. I would like I would make some um, more meditations for us, um, on the spot meditations um, for us coming up soon. So I might include that in, in there. But just try it for now and see how you go. So thanks for listening. And until the next video, it's goodbye for now. Bye.